Bracket Busters packs are here. We've also got an Easter egg event where if you complete all of these challenges right here, you get yourself a guaranteed free Galaxy Opal. But most importantly, there's a Dark Matter Carmelo Anthony, Dark Matter Adam Morrison, and a 100 overall Magic Johnson in these Bracket Busters packs. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's do a 20 pack box. Man, that was way too quick. That was way too quick of an intro, but I know want to change things up. Last pack opening I did, I spent way too long talking about what we wanted. Just talked about it, said that we need that Dark Matter Wemby, and then unfortunately, we were unable to get him. So this one, we're just going straight into it, seeing if we can get anything good. I will add though, it is annoying once again, the fact that these players aren't available in the player market. Like we've only got them as special inserts, and there's Galaxy Opal Chet Holmgren in this, who I really want as one of the, big whoa, whoa, one of the Galaxy Opals. And really all the Galaxy Opals actually look like extremely good cards, as that's just a normal shake, but, it is a pink diamond. So let's see which pink diamond this is going to be. There's not really too many insane pink diamonds, except for not this one. Why do I always start with a Series 2 NBA player? This is not what we want being Nikola Jokic. Jokic, I do not want you. Don't care that you have a dynamic duo. We do not want that card. So let's move on and let's get a real pink diamond like this. Our first bracket busters player. Can we see it on pack number six, Western Conference Center? And finally we do. We get the Nuggets player we actually wanted, the best pink diamond from the drop being Ray Friends. Is that how you say his name? I think we might have actually got it. But this card looks extremely good. Kind of what him on my no money spent. Alrighty, well, there we go. That's a good start. Pack number six, we got the best pink diamond so far. And we went back to back with pink diamonds too. You don't know how crazy I'd go though if we actually see that Dark Matter animation. Like we didn't see it last week, which was super disappointing because I actually saw a lot of people then rock with the Dark Matter Wemby or Brandon Roy. I played so many games online and went against those cards that it really made me sad because I was like, I spent so much on these packs. But we are now in pack number 11 and surely in this box we have to see a couple more shakes than just that two back to back like that. So this time we do get one and it's another pink diamond. We want to see the Galaxy Opals though. I got to go through the rest of the cards that are available because they are actually extremely good. So this one's going to be Kirk Heinrich, which isn't too bad. He actually looks like a pretty good card if I'm not going to lie. But are we really going to use him? I don't think so. I mean, hey, I would use any point guard on my Wemby's Legacy series right now. So surely they got to hit us with that card when we upload again. Like, it's actually crazy that I've been doing that series for so long and I still am rocking with a Ruby. That's right, a Ruby Lamello ball as my starting point guard but pack number 15 right now this hasn't been not anything too crazy do we think we're going to see another shake in this box i certainly hope so because i don't just want to see two real pink diamonds in this entire box one more shake and i'll be fine with it let's see it 2k we don't have many more packs to do it on i'm um, number 18 we do get a shake this one again is another pink diamond we pulled two of the pink diamonds so far there's only five in the packs this one's point guard, Eastern Conference, and it's actually a different player. I thought this one was going to be Kirk once again. It's going to be, I forgot who it was. It's Steve Blake. So we've pulled three of the five pink diamonds in one box. That's pretty good. Steve Blake, welcome to the collection. And we've still got two more packs to go. Last time we got a pink diamond, we went back to back. This time we only get a ruby, not what we want. But now for the final pack in this box, can we see something good? And we get another shake. All right, that's not bad at all. This one, just a pink diamond again. So we've pulled five pink diamonds, I think, all up in in this box, which is actually pretty good. And this one's gonna be another Rayful Friends. I'm not mad with this card just because now we can quick sell him for quite a bit of MT because he's the most expensive one. So I'll take that. That's a W. I mean, now we can quick sell this box for 50k. But you can see the odds for these packs right here. So it's 17% chance for a pink diamond, then a 3% chance for a galaxy opal, and then an under 2% chance for a dark matter and also a 100 overall. And these are all the special inserts we can pull. And some of these galaxy opals are crazy because we've got like Brandon Miller, Danny Ferry, who looks absolutely unreal. Even this Shane Battier looks like a great shooting guard. Tyler Hansborough looks absolutely crazy. And then Chet Holmgren looks insane as well. Literally all the Galaxy Opals are a W. So that's what I want to see in this next box. Let's do another 20 packer and let's do it. Literally, that's all I'm looking for out of this box is at least just one Galaxy Opal. It's a 3% chance. I don't know if we're going to see anything though. We just got to wait and see. Um, maybe if we do a little something right now, we get a diamond. Okay. Pack number three. Pack number three for me is absolutely nothing. And we get a gold. Man, oh man, we're going to need to see something better to start out this box. Just an emerald. And now for number five, if we don't even get a shake. All right, I'm going to need your guys' help. The start of that just absolutely sucked, but be sure to go down and smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the video, because trust me, my luck will get better when we do. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, you got to just try sometimes. And now number six, will it work? Um, 
it didn't straight away, but it will. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. You know, like the two pack, two packs after. There's the shake I was talking about. This one is just another pink diamond, but still, there's what two players that we haven't pulled, or maybe three. Yep, Eastern Conference power forward. That's gonna be one of them that we needed. And who even is it? It's. What? Gorgeous Nang? Yeah, Gorgeous Nang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous Nang. Niang, I should say. Hey, it's another player we needed. And that's because of your guys' likes. We ended up getting something good in that pack right there. Number eight is not great, but number nine is fine all the time with something in this pack. Let's make a dime of a gold, and it's Jalen McDaniels. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Pack number 10, this is not looking good. Like, this is not looking good at all. We have seen a one shake in this box so far. Make that two with just another pink diamond. And the thing is, though, we're really not looking for the pink diamonds anymore. This one should be... No, it's actually Joakim Noah. Okay, finally, we've pulled every single one of the pink diamonds. I guess that's a win. Now I can lock in the set, I guess. But I don't really want to do that. I want to be able to pull some of the galaxy opals. But hey, there we go with Joakim Noah in pack number 11. Now that we've pulled all the pink diamonds, 2K, you should realize all I'm looking for now is at least a galaxy opal or high. I don't know how easy that is going to be. The last pack opening we did actually, we just got Chet Holmgren and we, all, we won his galaxy opal version in these packs. But last episode, last pack opening, we ended up pulling three Galaxy Opals in a row. It was absolutely crazy. Just like that, we get another Pink Diamond in the middle. But again, Pink Diamonds really aren't what we're looking for. This is going to be another... Well, it's another Joel Embiid. Um, again, these are the cards we don't want to see because they quick sell for absolutely nothing. Why am I just seeing these Pink Diamonds is the real question. Literally, why? I don't open up packs to just pull Pink Diamonds. I'll tell you that right now. Number 17, Jalen Pickett. Shout out to Marlon Pickett. I don't know why, but... Another shake. All right, please hit me with the Galaxy Opal. Number 18. I used to be 18 years old, fun fact. And it's an Amethyst. Oh, my word. Like, what? I can't even think of the Amethyst I don't have. Is it Damian Lillard or something? I swear I had this card. Maybe I quick sold him for just a little bit of NT, but don't know why he's shaking. First time I've seen an Amethyst shake in an extremely, extremely long time. And now number 19. Bro, 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 bro. Two emeralds in the pack. Not what we want. Final pack of this box. So this box was even worse than our last one. And yeah, that was just not great. At least we've now got all the players to be able to lock in for the set. But this still hardly excites me. I can quick sell this box for 6,500 MT. You know what? Let's switch it up and let's do a 10 pack box. I'm literally thinking, surely this one has to be better. Like, surely. We have seen nothing from these packs. And I would love to see a Dark Matter. Literally, that's all I'm opening it for. As they give us Ruby Wemby. Maybe that's a good start for this box. I don't know. But number two. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no way we go an entire pack opening with a literally no Galaxy open. Pulls. There's no way, especially with how many we pulled last pack opening. I'm not liking the looks of this. Like, you know when it gets to that point in a pack opening where I just start going crazy because we're pulling absolutely nothing and I'm like, what else am I meant to talk about in these packs? I can talk about how much I want a card for a certain amount of time, but right now I can't talk about anything. What do we talk about? Do we talk about, um, I don't know, just... I guess the Swans, Sydney Swans are playing Richmond on Sunday. Hopefully they were able to win. We get a pink diamond in the middle in pack number eight. That's our first bracket busters. Hopefully player Western Conference point. It's Devin Booker. Oh my word. Like bro, I don't even know what to say. What is going on? Like our first pink diamond is a literally a series two player. They just, they're just trolling me at this point. Like I, I at least would have wanted a real, a real pink diamond. Now we get Jay Sean Tate. Now we get pack number 10, and what do we see in this? Nothing at all. That's one of the worst 10 boxes you'll ever see. You can quick sell this for 13K. Let's back out and change something about this. They're the players that we want. Just one of those. We've backed out, backed back in, and you know what? Now I'm gonna even close the app. And we are now back into my team. Let's just like go around the menus or something, go into the team, have a little look. Yep, okay, I can see some players that would definitely fit well in here. Maybe like a Chet Holmgren. Any of the Dark Matters would look good. I don't know, now let's go and have a look at the challenges. There's any spotlight challenges. Yep, there's some bracket buffs. This one's here. Very nice. They look easy. There's also these Bracket Busters challenges, which don't look too hard. To be able to give you a Deluxe Bracket Busters pack. Then we have these Egg Hunt Dunks that I already showed, but we need to look at it again. And now it's time to do our box. I don't know. Will this help? Will this help just refreshing everything, showing 2K exactly what we want and showing that we're starting strong with the Pink Diamond in pack number one. This is more of what I was expecting to start us off strong and to hit us with a Kirk Heinrich to start the pack opening. That is better, and that's what we want to see. Let's go. It's nothing crazy, but at least it's better. All right, I'm not mad with that. I'm not mad at all. Pack number two, back to back. Let's go. Back to back. Bam. That's a Galaxy Opal, finally. 
Finally, I literally didn't even have a reaction because I thought it was a diamond at first, but we get our Galaxy Opal on pack number two. Which one do I want? Probably Tyler Hansbrough or Chet Holmgren the most. So I think we want to see power forward. I don't really want to see small forward. Actually, I do because I want Danny Ferry. I don't even know. Is Danny Ferry small forward or power forward? Let's have a look. Okay, so we can actually only see two positions. If we see power forward, it's an instant W. And if we see small forward, I only want Danny Ferry. All right, so finally, we've got our Galaxy Opal. I'm going to need a base drop because it's now time to flip it. And it's time to flip it and see which one it's going to be. I kind of want to see power forward as a position. Let's see what it's going to be. Eastern Conference small forward. Who is it? It's Brandon Miller. I still feel like this is a W of a card, but it's not really the one I exactly wanted to see, but it's still a W. I'm actually excited to try him out because he does look like a beast and he's also six foot eight and everything like that. So maybe we're going to run him actually. Hey, I'm happy with the Galaxy Opal pool. Let's go. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better about this pack opening because we finally got a Galaxy Opal pool. As I was saying though, all these Galaxy Opals are actually a dub, which is why, yes, there are ones that I want more than others, including like Danny Ferry, Chet Holmgren and Tyler Hansbrough, but at least we were able to see one in pack number two of this box. Our ritual worked where we closed the app, checked everything, did whatever, and we actually got a good pull in only pack number two. Is it time in this box that we see a dark matter though? I don't know. We need to just see that slow shake. Do you realize how crazy I would go if I did see that slow shake? I'm just letting you know, it would make for a great video, 2K. 2K, just slide me a dark matter, please. We've spoken to 2K in the mic, so surely in pack number nine, they hit us with a sapphire. That's not great. Halfway through this box, and we still haven't seen a single other shake. We started so hot in this box and since we have got absolutely nothing number 11 hits us with a shake one of my favorite numbers this one is just another pink diamond though but at least this is some free mt right here and it's power forward and it's going to be gorgeous niang so george's niang we will take it we will just quick sell you and make a bit of mt the one thing i will say is this easter egg promo actually looks like a really good one like it looks like a great way to be able to get a couple of free galaxy opals just by being able to complete those agendas. So I'm actually really looking forward to it and I'm definitely gonna grind it out and do quite a lot of those challenges to see if we're able to get any good Galaxy Opals, especially on the no money spent. But I would love to be able to just get a great card on this account right here, just by opening up packs, which is the way you're able to get all these Galaxy Opals and Dark Matters that came out today. And it's the only way, but there's no way we go an entire pack opening 700,000 VC and only pull one Galaxy Opal, but maybe there is, maybe there is, and maybe that's showing right now because on pack number 18, we get absolutely nothing. Aaron Gordon, number 19 right now. Can we come clutch and get something good in the final pack of this box? We're going to have to do it. Our final VC pack and we see absolutely nothing once again just an amethyst that box started so strong then was terrible we're gonna add one of these pink diamonds for a deluxe pack let's just do it and then because Jokic always annoys me when we pull him i'm gonna be putting that player in for the deluxe pack and we've now got a base pack to open as well and then we've got a normal pack and then a deluxe pack so let's start with the base pack and see if we can get anything good from this imagine if this way was it where we were able to get the dark matter we had a gold now it's time for the normal pack we were just able to get this one out of the exchange as well so normal pack time and no shake again just a sapphire that's absolutely terrible. But now it's time for our deluxe pack. This is a guaranteed pink diamond or higher. I've actually never seen a card higher than a pink diamond. So I guess maybe now's the time to see that. We just get a normal shake. What is it going to be? Bang, it is just a pink diamond. Like that's just what we see every single time. We want to see Lay for Ray full of friends. It's going to be Kirk Heinrich. I'm pretty sure. And yes, it is. So this card is just going to quick sell for about 30,000 MT when I exchange to the other version. So yeah, that was, I guess, all right. Like we didn't really lose any MT from doing that. Let's just quick sell this version. Like look at this. Out of all the special inserts, we've only got one. Did pull all the pink diamonds. Maybe let's do a VC single. And this is our final bit of VC we're spending in this pack opening. I don't want to spend any more and we get an emerald in the middle. That is so bad. I don't even have enough for a 20 pack box. So we can really only afford this 10 pack box. So let's do it. Like usually at the end of a VC pack opening, I always then go and and just spend my MT on the 20 pack boxes. But right now this pack opening has been so bad that I can't even do that because we literally haven't even seen like anything I can really quick sell. We do get another shake in pack number two once again, this one, just another pink diamond. That's like the opposite of what we want to see. We just want to see at least a galaxy opal now and it's gorgeous Niang once again. Gorgeous boy. I mean, it's good to see you, but it's not what we want to see. So I guess that's okay from pack number two. Surely number three increases and goes to a galaxy opal or just a sapphire. What sapphire is it? Jury holiday. Oh my time, I'm a tiny. I may have stolen a heart from inside you. 
I am on pack number five. I get hit with a ruby. You guys ever watched Moana? Great movie. You guys ever watched another pack opening of Angus's? You probably shouldn't, because I'm just showing you that in 700,000 MT, no, 700,000 VC, also what, 200,000 MT, you can literally get absolutely nothing. Pack number eight, still nothing. Pull the man that's been popping off ever since he's got to pay child support, Jalen Green. And now for the final pack of this box. This has been horrible, like absolutely horrible. Pack. I don't even know what to say. Guess I can quick sell it for 42,000 MT. That then gives us enough to open up two packs. That's it. And usually my pack openings go for so much longer. Videos are more intense. Videos are more insane. Right now, this is just not fun. And this is now our final pack. I apologize for the fact that my pack opening luck has not been good right now. We have seen nothing and we're ending on not we're ending on a gold Josh Hart. 2K is just saying, yep, yeah, um, sorry to break your heart. Whoever broke your heart must have been crazy. Right now it's 2K because this pack sucks. I guess if I look at my team, should I put Brandon Miller in? I don't think he's any better than Andre Iguodala, but let's at least just put him in. Let's like see his release or something. I don't really know. I mean, it's actually really quick. Oh, his fade is nice. Too. Yo, hold on. This card actually might be really good. Yeah, his fade's really nice. Okay, well, I'm missing all the shots, but his release is fire. Yo, this might have to be a card we actually try out. Let's see his dunks. Yeah, they're going to be good too. So you know what? We're going to play a game of Triple Threat Online with this team right here, as this Brandon Miller actually looks like a bit of a beast. So anyway, let's get to the game. Hey, it's been a long time since I've done any gameplay in this, but there's Brandon Miller. And you know what we're going for. We're just going for these dunks right now because we really want to get these challenges over and done with. So Brandon Miller this time, let's take it down baseline and let's get you first. Yeah, when was the last time I did a big pack opening and actually had to do a gameplay at the end just because we pulled absolutely nothing? It's been a while, but at least we can show off this Brandon Miller, I guess. And let's go a little spin this time. I like that shot a lot. Oh, what a steal too. Let's kick this one back out to Kobe this time. At least we got that steal there and now we can give it back out to Brandon Miller this time. Brandon Miller, can he score? I mean, yes, he got fouled, which I guess is a win because it means now we can go inside this time and this time we can get the slam. I'll tell you what, I'm certainly liking him so far. He's just scoring at will. Come on, Brandon, you're a rookie. We could have used you in... St whoa, whoa. Okay, well, I kind of need that. Okay, this should be... It's not a steal. He kicked it to the further player and instead of get us getting the steal, he might even score here and go up in this game. We play good defense here. We need to get up with Brandon Miller and he just is unable to get that block. So we're now down by one point. And we have to do this long inbound. I hate this about triple threat when the players just have to walk around and grab the ball. But at least now, we just need two more dunks. And Brandon Miller, you're the one I wanted to have do it with because right now, we need to be able to get these challenges done. So Brandon Miller this time, take it on the inside. I don't love what's going on here, but maybe he's able to get us an assist or something. I... I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Brandon Miller this time all the way. And there it is. I kind of need to start going for threes after I complete this challenge. So all we need is just one more dunk. And instead we get a lay. All we need is stop. And Brandon Miller gets exactly that for us as he pulls down the rebound as well. So let's go behind the back this time. That's a shot I would take. But right now, obviously we're just going for the dunks. And we finished it with that one. All we need now is just one more stop. One more stop. And then we're good to go. So on Jokic, yeah, well, you know we're clamping that one up. Dennis Rodman, you got nothing on Brandon Miller. He's absolutely clamping you. He pulls down another rebound and now we can finally test out his shot because now we've got takeover. I love to see it. So let's stop. Let's pop. Pull that three and bang, baby. All we need now is just two more points. Do we go for the three or do we go for the two? I don't know. Let's pull this. It's deep, but Brandon Miller got it. That was actually an insane game by our debutante. Let's look at this in five minutes, 22 points, shooting 10 of 11. I probably should have been happier about getting this car. As now we get our egg hunt event pack, we also completed a challenge to be able to get us a golden egg. So let's see what you're able to get out of this egg event pack. I think there's normal eggs and also the golden egg. So we want to see the golden egg more. We get a silver. It's pulse control. We did not want that. But this Brandon Miller is certainly looking like a W. I feel like I might use him over this Andre Iguodala. I'm not too sure. So the question is, were these Bracket Busters packs a W or not? They were such an L. Like such an L. I pulled one Galaxy Opal in over 700,000 VC and over 200,000 MT. Like that's so bad. At least we pulled all the pink diamonds. So you know we're going to lock in this set to see what Galaxy Opal or High we're able to get, but that's the only positive I can really look at. Other than that, Extreme L. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.